Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Johnny O'Nose and I'll be playing some Beat Cap. And today is day 20, a field visit. This is the second to last day of the game. It smells like a shithouse on a Tuta boat in here. Chapansky, for Christ's sake, you eating fish? During briefing? Seriously? Sorry, I'm, I'm almost... Okay, finish. Alright, before we move on to more important things, how's it going with those cabs? Great boss, eight full... Sit down, Cross. I know how many you searched. How about you, Kelly? Jesus. All three cabs searched. Excellent. Good job, Kelly. I say excellent. Moving on. Ticket quota met. Write this shit down. One task. Twelve tickets of any kind. Because I want you on your goddamn tippy toes. And keep an eye on the streets. Enough talk. Get busy. Well, that wasn't much of a briefing. Hey, Kelly. What's up? Did you lend me a few hundred bucks? Again? Zip it, McNabb. Why, what happened? Mike's is late with alimony. Again? Shut your trap, McNabb! I still got that Mexican's number. The one who beats people with a chain? Only Kelly's gonna have to lend you more money. Okay. You ever caught your folks having sex? God, no. Once, I had to bleach my eyes. You? Yeah, the other day. How do you feel? Violated. I don't know if I'm ever gonna have sex again. Good, bad, clogs, veins. Eleven letters. Cholesterol, Shep. Cholesterol. Thanks, Kelly. <laughs> you all got this problem with your apartments? Rent too high? Noise? Ramped? Gangs? Neighbors? Wife? Ex-wife? Yeah, when you look at the window, through the blood and smog-stained window, and watch your neighbor's flat, which is within hand's reach, and you realize their life is better than yours? Yeah. Every day. That's <laughs> sad. Not sure uh, we're on the same page. What do you mean, sir? Every day I send you go you guys to bust low lives. Yes, sir. You get the crime rate skyrocketing, no? Yes, sir. Have I not, have I not made myself clear? Yes, sir. Then maybe you're a bunch of morons. No, sir. Then what do you have to do now? Get the fuck out of here and pinch some up, sir. Dismissed. All right. Nothing in that briefing other than some sad news about cops' lives compared to everyone else's. Uh, looks like we can take some bribes. Um, nothing to give the crew or the mafia, so let's go do it. Gonna bust a gut riding 15 tickets of any kind. Yeah, yeah. And talk to Adamansky. He called Central last night. Sure, laters. Alright, let's get our favorite guy. Our one ticket right off the bat, and then head on over to Adamansky's. We can't take tickets today, but there is a lot. Uh, we can take um, bribes today, but there are a ton of tickets we have to do. Hey, Mr. Adamansky, I got a call. I had to do something. What happened? Boy, good fault. I saw an Arab yesterday on the street. The schmuck sees me and comes right over. Talking about the Holocaust, calling me names. I was so scared, I literally, sh literally shit my pants. Spare me the details, Mr. Adamansky. But, there was an Arab? Have you heard about yesterday's attacks? Well, I called you right over. I'll keep an eye on your place. Thank you, officer. I hope you'd say that. Ooh, so I guess there was some bombings? Bombings in Berlil? Berlil? <laughs> Berlin! This is central. Got a call from the porn store. Some perv's cause in trouble. Uh, we're sure it's a customer? Uh, very funny, 421. Go and check it out. 10-4, uh, I'm on my way. Okie doke. Let's see. Let's get this ticket real quick. And we got our guy. Oh, we do have we do have a job with the Mafia today, it looks like. Oh, no, no. Hello, Officer Kelly. We need to talk. All right? Not here. Let's go to Louie's. Okay, I'll drop by. Now. I insist. Busy. Please. It's urgent. Well, okay. Let's get moving. Officer Kelly. You've got something valuable. Uh huh. There we go. Do I? A certain recording. Oh, so that's what it's about. I got a proposition. I'm all ears. The Senator's diamonds. What about them? Maybe we have them. Maybe you can have them. Eh? Yes. Uh, when we exchange them. With the cassette? We got an Einstein over here, boys! You can tell he's a detective. So, uh, why do you want the recording? It'll come in handy. You know, Bunga Bunga is my fetish. <laughs> bunga Bunga! And the diamonds that solve your problems. Am I right? Yes, I've been looking for them forever. You bring me the cassette tomorrow. The diamonds will be waiting for you. And the senator won't shake this one off? That's how politics works. This doesn't sit right with me. It is what it is. Okay, I'll think about it. Choose wisely. Goodbye. 
All right, I think this is our $2,000 guy. Yep, it sure is. Let's go through the text there. All right, let's keep writing tickets. God, everyone's bugging me. Everyone's bugging me while writing tickets so far today. I got one ticket left already. There's two. Boom. All right, let's, um, what are we supposed to talk to? You're supposed to talk to somebody. Talk to Froggy. That's right. Let's go talk to him. Officer Kelly, right on time. Eric, what are you doing here? Stop by to see the movie. I'm warming up. Sorry, warming up for what? Uh, a bit slow today, uh, officer? The, the cast's on their way. Fuck, oh, Froggy. Thought you were just kidding around with that movie. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm not doing that. What's, what the fuck he's up to? Getting around, officer? This will be the porn movie of the decade. Oh, yes, I can already see those headlines. Big Dirk's back and he's bigger than ever. Maybe in the stomach. We're almost good to go. An actress and film tr crew are on their way. Wait, what am, what am I doing here? Uh, okay. Jeez, tell him to stop, all right? Dirk, can you take that warm up to the back room? Sure, boss. Uh, we'll need Matthias's workshop for a few hours. Ain't he working today? He is. That's why I need your help. Uh, that won't fly. Uh, how do you expect me to use your shield? Lie. You'll think of something. We'll be there past uh, 10.30 a.m. The actress is on her way from the airport. Did you even ask if I could do it? Got a deal? No. He promised to help. Remember um, Igor killing that person in here? Uh, okay. <laughs> Go for the eyes. Sir, for fuck's sake, quick moaning or I'll find a replacement for you. So everything's clear? We'll see about that. Alright, let's go ahead and see if we can get the uh, mechanic to let go of his place for a little while today. Hey pal, get your uncle from the workshop. Just let me a buck? Jeez, crazy times. Go get Matthias. Oh, looks like we got someone to, to, rob, uh, to uh, arrest here. We got someone to rob here. There, that's that guy. Wait for him to get picked up. That was nice. He just kind of walked up to us. All right, let's get to... Oh, we got lost one with the crew. No, our perfect our perfect reputation with the crew has been tarnished. You here to see me, officer? I'm afraid so. Like I said, I I'm done fixing police cars free of charge. Matthias, this is, this is much more of a serious issue. How long have you run this auto shop? About six years? Why? Eight years ago, a serious crime was committed here. No fucking way? In my workshop? What happened? Two thugs. One, a sexual deviant. And the other, a dirty old actor with a past. They lured a girl here. Motherfuckers, did you get them? Yeah, but we gotta determine the course of events now. We need to occupy the workshop until the end of the day. Until the end of the day? No way! I got important customers today. I'll let you in, but only for a few hours. Is that okay by you? Sure, we should be able to wrap it up by then. Our people are on their way. Just keep it discreet, alright? I don't want anyone finding out what happened here. Don't worry, they're pros. It's gonna be quiet as a morgue. I'll hold you to it. The pro hell probably isn't that bad. Hell probably isn't that bad. Uh, okay. All right, let's get this car written up. Uh, I think we got that one too. Let's go talk to Froggy and uh, see what he's got. Hey, Kelly. Hey, if it is an Abel Yabolensky. Let's talk. Then talk. Not here. Go to Rick's. Now? Yeah, it's important. I only know what's, what it's going to be about, right? I do. Come on. All right, I guess we have to walk to Rick's now. <clears throat> Well, hello, Jack. Rita, what are you doing here? I'm with a friend. Yabolansky, he, um... Yeah, Rita and I know each other. And Dina, what does she have to do with you guys? I'm a friend of your ex. Fuck. That's why Dina knew everything. Yeah. I also know about the tape. I told you. Does it matter? I'm a detective. Remember? Okay, I've got the recording. And I intend to make a good, make a, a good use of it. Make good use of it. Allow me to make an offer. I know what to do with it. Oh, really? You've been gathering dirt on the senator. This will be icing on the cake. We'll end his political career. We'll end his political career. <laughs> and how do I benefit from this? I thought you were all about justice. You've always been a square cop. I'm not so sure that a career blow is enough for me. I'll uh, go with something more refined. Say a uh, 45. Boy, the streets really left a mark on you. This tape could get me off the street if I play it right. I know that. Just think think over my offer. Think my offer over. <laughs> the writing is so disjunctive. It's... Ah! I wasn't joking. I like your attitude. Guys like you turn me on. Well, I'll, I'm well past my teenage years. So am I, so I don't like to beat around the bush. 
If we leak some eager uh, prosecutors, we'll uh, come up with a dozen charges. You won't get away. I promise. So do I. I'll be waiting here tomorrow. Give it a thought. It's what Dina would want. For fuck's sake, keep her out of this. She's a smart kid, you know. Alright, let me think this through. See you tomorrow. See ya, Jack. Sleep on it. Take care. So that is two offers for our tape now. Let's see what else do we have to do today. Uh, okay, they're waiting in front of the workshop. Let's see. Oh, yeah, they're closed. So they're going to be at the workshop at 10.30, which gives us a little time to throw down some tickets because we need 12 today. Or 24 of them if we're going to go for a double quota. I'm going to run over to the right side real quick as well, get our donuts, and um, see if there's anything from the crew. All right, so we're a little late getting back. Well, well, here come the porn celebrities. All sorted? Yeah, we ain't got much time. We got to get started. First, you need to vacate the parking spot for them. The one in front? Yeah, it's got. they've got some heavy gear. No point in carrying it all that way. All right, all right we probably are going to have to write a bogus ticket for this. Yeah, so there's nothing wrong with this truck, so we're going to have to write a bogus ticket. The things we do for porn. Get this guy out of the way, and then uh, these guys are going to get started. Alright, the car is towed away. Now we got to wait for the limo. Oh, look at that pimp mobile. Alright, they're here. Stay here and watch the entrance. Just take it easy. If they get wind of this, I'm going straight to jail. That's why you need to keep your eyes peeled. Don't let anyone in. Fuck, Dirk whipped it out already. I gotta go. Now we got to stand here. If you leave this spot, the game ends. So we have to stay right here. Officer, need a hand? With what? Someone's screaming in there and I'm a seasoned nurse. That's okay. We got it under control. Please move along. People are starting to gather. Move along. Don't... Don't block the pavement. Fuck, we need it done under the radar. Next time I'm there, I'm gonna order some pumping. That uh, sure, so sure sounds like someone's taking the easy route to a promotion. I saw a boob. I saw a boob. Officer, what's going on here? It's a standard field visit. Please move along. But I'm here to pick up my car. Your car's not here, sir. But it is. I just heard a honk just a moment ago. There it is again. Hear that? I recognize it anywhere. Right. That must be the car scene. They weren't supposed to touch anything. You got leather upholstery? Yeah, why? Well, you don't need to worry about a thing. Some kind of a joke? I saw a boob. I saw a boob. Oh my god, this is terrible. Officer, can we join the party? Fuck. This again? What the fuck is he wearing? They're gonna be on my ass, alright. Derek, for fuck's sake, you were supposed to return this uniform. I know, but it's always a nice change, eh? Besides, I need to take care of something. Take care of something? Go back in there and wrap it up. I got a crowd out here. Don't worry, I'll be right back. I gotta snoop around. What the fuck he's talking about? Crap, was that Dirk Wan? Oh, don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean? I just saw him walk up over there. That'd be him. Please tell me the truth. I've seen all his movies. The only movie that would feature this guy was Honey. We got a porpoise, a porpoise in our cellar. So spare me the bullshit that he's some big shot celebrity. I bet my boobs on it. Oh, God. No way. This is over. Just like someone's taking the easy route to promotion. Why the fuck is his shirt all open like that? Where, where were you? Move your ass to wrap this up. Oh, he went into 621, which means that he went to go see Mrs. Annabelle again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shit, those noises are turning me on. It's good to see you, officer. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Oh, I should turn the sound up for this. Are you a security guard? I'm looking for an address. Security guard of what? Isn't this the casting for K. O'Brien? Jeez, no. 
how did you come up with that? I'm a medicine graduate. A medicine graduate? And I thought you couldn't uh, go about it this way. That guy behind you is performing a colonoscopy without any instruments. You're managing things, pal. Ah, there you are, Matthias. Good to see you. Got the bullshit officer. You done or not? We're uh, slowly ramping up. Now the interrogators will... Wait, what was that? What's that moaning? Didn't I ask you to be discreet? Hold on, I'll take a look. Yeah, it looks like they moved on to the key scene. Uh, Dirty Sanchez. Oh, it's, it's really indescribable. It's too cruel. Sweet Jesus, poor child. And you're recreating the whole act, step by step? Yeah, drop by drop. I respect your work, but I'm expecting an important customer. I need the workshop vacated. Of course, please give us uh, 30 more minutes. Clock's ticking. Please be over. Crap, this guy wasn't joking. Hey, cameraman, quit tinkering and come over here. We got your voice in the film, man. Like I give a fuck. Listen up, punk. You gotta take your shit and get out of here. We're all ending up in the slammer. That clear? Sure, boss. One more mouthwash and we're done here. Mouthwash. What's all this shouting? What are you doing to uh, Uncle Matthias? Are you the family? Not to worry. It's just an on-site verification. More like an inside verification. Can't you hear those screams? All right, I had enough of this. I wonder what happened between you and your uncle. Meaning? As I talk to him, he's got this low, deep, masculine voice. And you are insinuating is he squeaks. Are you trying to get me thinking about the circumstances in which you uh, found out that he could squeak like that? Uh, let me guess, a favorite nephew? Excuse me? Oh, he's longer in the, in the lap than the other kids? How dare you? Uncle, uncle, will you show me that trick with the button? Enough of this. One more word and I'm putting a hole through your face. Oh, what's the big deal? I was joking. I don't know why Kelly was that bad. It's so abrupt. We're supposed to be finished by now. Right, this must have switched careers. Oh my god, is this over yet? Like hurting in there or something? Matthias is coming back. Get the fuck out of the workshop. Hurry up. There they go. They see a camera? Yeah, we had to document everything. I hope those two thugs you caught end up in the electric chair and I have my part in it. That's right, Matthias. You are very helpful. Our department won't forget this. You better not. I gotta go back to work. If anyone gets wind of this, you're really the luckiest man in town. If, if no one gets wind of this, it doesn't matter now. We got everything on film. After coming back from his walk, Dirk turned into a real animal. Hands down, this was his best performance. All right. I don't want to hear about it. Anything else, anything gets out, I'm screwed. Everything's going to be fine. You were great. All right, get the fuck out. You never saw me here. Come on, shut up. You crew created a legend, man. All right, so that's over. <laughs> Whatever that was. Uh, let's go ahead and keep writing some tickets. And uh, keep patrolling up and down the street. We're looking for any tickets, so whatever works. Which one one? This is Central, 10 4. We got a report from Father Mushroom, a disturbance near the church. Got it, on my way. Alright, let's head on over to the church. We're going that way, anyways. Oh, look at this, G Man. Officer Kelly. Yeah? Can I help? How can I help you? A word. I'm on duty. I'm here on the Senator's request. Oh, are you? Let's talk then. Not here. Let's go to the diner. It's quieter inside. All right, let's go. You have something that belongs to the senator. Do I now? Yes, some footage. The senator would like to have it back, peacefully. You threatening me? I decline to comment. What would I get in return? That's some juicy footage. Let's say all your problems will vanish. Just like that? The senator has considerable influence. And you wouldn't like to lose it? Indeed. That's not all. Not only will you be reinstated to homicide, but also receive a promotion. You always so generous? I want you to cherish our cooperation, now and in the future. Am I the only one to give... Am I only... And I only have to give you the recording. Yes. How do I know you won't screw me over? Well, you could have already made a copy. This deal is a mere trifle for us, and it takes a load off our chests. If you tried to violate our little contract, you'll be playing a dangerous game. I know, I've seen you guys at work. You have time till tomorrow. I'll be waiting here. I'll think about it. Yes, you will. 
All right, that's our third offer for the tape. Jeez, my ears. What are those kids doing? Get out of here, you brats. This ain't no theme park. Well, let me just check to see if I can get the crew guy. Nope. The crew offer is not there yet, but it will be there later today. Good morning, Father. God bless. You reported a disturbance. Kids bothering you? Yeah, they're giving me quite the headache. Running around and making so much noise. That little girl came here at least a hundred times. And one smart ass even got in the confessional and started taking confessions. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Father. I couldn't help myself. Uh, there's nothing funny about that, officer. If he had been given them absurd penises, 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 ah, I wouldn't have to figure, I wouldn't have to even figure it out. Oh, penance, penances. Can I court on, can I count on you helping me? My head is killing me. Jesus, I'm falling apart. No worries, father. I'll take care of it. Penis, penances. Now, which one of those punks was plain priest? You little shit, you slipped into the confessional. So what? I ain't afraid of you. You know I can haul your ass to the station. What did you say to the parishioners? It was Mickey's idea, I swear. He told me to act, act like sheep. Yeah, about Kumbaya on the radiator. Poker face, poker face. And when it got really loud from all that bleeding, the priest ran out and chased us away. And rightly so. This ain't no playground. Give me three seconds to scram. Three. Two and a half. Two. I'm serious, you're going to jail. Hey, too soft. One. Well, we'll go if you get us tickets. What tickets? In the movies and popcorn. You choke on you, little shit. <laughs> he's so mean to kids, even though he's got a kid of his own. I'll get you Vex tickets if you leave the Reverend alone. I'll get you them tickets? Guys, that copper agree. What a loser. All right, let's go get some movie tickets for these kids. Evil little devils. The platoon is playing. Holy shit, what the fuck's going on here? What are these people doing here? I live under a rock, officer? Today's the national premiere of Stone's Platoon. Yellow meat is flying all over the place like Vietnamese mosquitoes. Jesus Christ, that rough, huh? I hear they're ripping uh, one in half with a bayonet up to his tonsils, man. Some real stew. I ain't stressed out, I work here. Uh, but those guys over there are having it tough. The line's stuck. They don't know tickets sold out already. Seriously, I wanted to buy a gift for someone. Send these little punks into a real fucking jungle. <laughs> you still want tickets? I got good news. Cinema is uh, launching a contest. You got time till uh, the first screening? You kidding me? Damn right I want a ticket. I got three free passes here, but you got to answer three questions. They can pay you extra. No, three questions. All right, give it a try. They're about the recent uh, movies screened at the Odden. All right, shoot. In the movie The Fly, how did Jeff Goldblum get his DNA? Cross with the, the, the title Insect. Teleport sex change operation. All right, next question. What is Tom Cruise doing in the last scene of Top Gun? Kissing the female protagonist. All right, here comes the next question. What body part was particularly important to Christopher Lambert in Highlander? There can be only one gland. Crap, you're a real cinema fan, officer. Here's your three tickets. Have fun. Thanks. That was easy. It was easy. Gland. It looks like I got our crew guy here. Hey, boss. What do you want? I right, follow me to the pawn shop. You found something stolen? No, we got to talk. In private. About what? Got an interesting proposition. Very interesting. All right, let's go. What is it? You got something we need. Success with women? What? It was a joke. I'm serious, man. You got the recording? The recording? Yeah, that's right. Give it to us. Why? This center will have to be punished. And you need the recording for that? Yeah, we'll use it as leverage. I ain't say that uh, it ain't that easy to whack Senator, even for us. Well, he's uh, well connected. What's in it for me? Well, we'll make sure your pals know. You avenged Fat Mike and his brother, even though he was a piece of shit. And the other poor motherfuckers, including Angie. Those earn you some crazy juice, even with us. I'll think about it. This ain't no easy decision. It'd be easier if it was your, fa if, if it was your family. Enough. Kelly said he'll think it over. They'll get back to us tomorrow. Deal? All right, I'll let you know. See you then. All right, so that's the last proposition for the tape that our denizens of our beat will give us. So we got four of them. One from the senator, one from Yablansky, one from the crew, one from the mafia. Now, I don't know if they offer you it based on your reputation, but um, every time I've got to the end with the tape, I've had pretty good reputation. So if you're not seeing these propositions come up, it may be because of the fact that you don't have enough reputation with that particular group. 
But uh, let's go ahead and give these tickets to the kids. Blah de blah. Something about labyrinth. All right, now here, go beat it. Suck it, loser. Wet dreams, you little shit. He hates kids so much. This is 421. The problems were resolved. Good job, 421. And a quick one. Reverend usually floods us with calls. All right, anything else? So tomorrow is the big day where we can give the tape to the Mafia, Yablansky, the Senator, or the crew. But uh, we'll take care of that tomorrow. And today, I think we just got to write some tickets. So I guess we got to try to get... Uh, Try to get 24 tickets. Let will just check this real quick. Yeah, all tickets. 12. So we need 24. 24. So let's see if we can do that by the end of the day. And if anything comes up, I'll, uh, we'll see. Alright, that looks like 24 tickets. It did it. Well, it took like an hour or two, maybe. There's another one. Some lights and parking. Lights and parking. 25 of them. Not a lot of uh, not a lot of bribes though. All right, that's the end of the day. Let's go ahead and throw this guy a quick quick ticket at the end. Oh, I'm gonna miss writing tickets. I love you tickets. I miss you. All right, let's see how we did. Lost nine bucks. Please plus one. Prove my sword. Oh well. Either way, I think we hit my target. Of uh, oh yeah, yeah we did it. And all this is about uh, each of the different decisions we make. Mafia, crew, Yablansky, or the senator. So my goal going into day 21 was to get everyone to at least 90. Now, I think I could have gotten 100 with the Mafia if I would have uh, given those drugs back from that third from that third taxi. And I think I'll be able to get 100 with police on, this, on, the, on the last day. So I could have gotten 100, 100, 100 if I didn't screw up that last bit. Anyways, this is Johnny O'Nose playing B Cop. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next episode, which is the final episode for B Cop. Thanks so much for watching, you guys.